Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a barbershop website with Divi. So this is the homepage. The shop page. And finally, this is going to be the design of our contact page. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so before we can dive into the tutorial, let's go through the things that we need to make this website happen. So first of all, we're going to need Divi installed and activated. Secondly, we're going to be using the coffee shop layout pack and then adding our images and changing a few things to customize it to make it the barbershop website. Thirdly, we're also going to need some images. Now, in our case, we've used images from shutterstock.com. So in your case, you would need to use your own images. And, um, and also the sizes of the image need to be roughly 1920 by 1080. But of course, this is going to depend on the width of your website. But this is what we, re we recommend for this. So what we're going to need to do is to create four pages. We're going to create the home page, the contact page, the book appointment page, and the shop page. So let's dive in and let's get started with creating these pages. Okay, so the first page I'm going to create here is going to be the home page. So I'm just going to I'm just going to create these pages and publish them and then we're going to go in and add all the content. So so we've got the home page. So go ahead and create the contact, the appointment page and the shop page. Okay, so as you can see, I've created all my pages. I haven't added any content onto these pages, but this is the home, the contact, the shop and the book appointment. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our layout. So I'm going to come over here to my home page, click on edit. And then I'm going to come over here and click on load layout. So the layout that we need is the coffee, the coffee shop. So I'm going to click on coffee shop and these are the pages that we're going to use in this. So the first page we're going to need is the landing page for the home page. So I'm going to select it and then I am going to go ahead and click on use this layout. I'm just going to come over here and click on update and then we can just do a quick preview and take a look at this page. Okay, great. So you can see here all our contents of our website are all uploaded. So that looks great. Let's go ahead and do the rest of the pages. So I'm just going to come back over here to all pages. So I'm going to click on edit on the contact page, use the Divi Builder, load layout, so we're going to click on coffee shop layout pack again and this time we're going to go for the contact page for the contact layout. So I've selected it. I'm going to click on use this layout. Click on update. Now what you need to do is for the appointments page you need to use the coffee shop blog layout and for the shop page you need to use the coffee shop shop page. Okay so all my pages now have all my layouts loaded. So the next thing we're going to do is to create our primary menu. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to appearance and then click on menus. And then over here, you need to name your new menu. So I've just called mine main menu. And then next, we need to add all our pages to the menu. So all you have to do is to select the pages and then click on add to menu. Okay, so you can arrange this by just clicking and dragging them. And then the most important thing here is to make sure you come over here and click this checkbox which says primary menu. So once all this is done, go ahead now and save the menu. So now if we take a look at our website, you'll notice that our menu will be showing right here on the top and here it is. The next thing we need to do is to set our default color palette. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come back over here to my website, click on Divi. But now we need to go to theme options. So select theme options. And this is our default color picker. So what we need to do is to add all our values. Now, if you'd like to use the same colors as we're using in today's tutorial, you can go ahead and go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So I'm just going to start by adding my colors. 
And to do that, select on the color and paste your hexadecimal value. So I'm gonna paste it in here like that. Move on to the next one, like that. And then I'm gonna add my last one. Okay, so now I've added all my colors. All I have to do now is to click on Save Changes. Next, we need to add our accent color. So let's go ahead and do that by going into Theme Customizer, General Settings, and then Layout Settings. So you can see here our theme accent color is here. All you have to do is to click on it and then paste your color, just like that. Click on Publish. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to update our typography in the theme customizer. So I'm just gonna click on typography and this is where we can add all our global settings. So we're gonna start off with the body text size, set this to 18. Line height, we're gonna set line height to 1.8. The heading text size, we're gonna set this to about 42. The header letter spacing, we're gonna set this to about two. Then the, letter, uh, then the header line height, uh, let's set this to about 1.5. And then over here on the header font, we're gonna change our font and um, choose Oswald. And then the default body font is going to be Nunito. And then over here on our header text color, we're gonna change this and paste our header text color in here. Okay, so now that we've uh, updated our typography, let's go now to the primary menu bar. So I'm just gonna click on publish, and then we're just gonna go a few steps back and go to the primary menu bar. So to get to the primary menu bar, you need to go to header and navigation. Click on primary menu bar. So let's start off by adjusting our text size. So this needs to be set to about 18, and then we're gonna make it bold and uppercase. Okay, so now that uh, we have set up everything, let's go now and optimize our homepage. So I'm just gonna click on publish. And then over here, I'm just gonna refresh the page and enable the visual builder. So first of all, I'm gonna start by changing this uh, title here to barbershop. Next, we're just gonna change uh, the button contents here to book appointment. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here into settings. And then instead of having shop here on the button, we're just gonna say book appointment, like that. I'm gonna save. Okay, now let's change our background image. And to do that, I'm gonna come over here to my uh, full header settings. And then I'm gonna come all, all the way to the bottom here, click on background. And then we can see here, this is where our background image goes. And just make sure it's the third tab that you select. And then I'm just gonna delete this. Click this plus button to add a new one. And the image I'm gonna go with is this one right here. So I'm going to upload my image. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so next I'm just gonna come over here and um, get rid of this video because we're not gonna need that. So I'm just gonna delete that by just coming over here to delete the section. Now I'm going to add our services, but to do that I'm gonna have to get the content from the About Us page. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna save uh, for now just to make sure that I don't lose any information. And then I am going to come over here to Edit Page, Load Layout. So I'm just gonna come over here and choose the page that I need to load and it's going to be the About page. So you need to make sure that this button right here, which says replace existing, date, uh, existing content is unchecked because if you do that, it will replace all the work that we've done. But if you uncheck it, it'll just add this information below what we currently have on the page. So go ahead now and click on use this layout. Great. So let's take a look at this in the visual builder. So I'm just gonna click update and then I'm gonna view the page. Okay, so all that, con uh, all that content is going to be added to the bottom of our website. So this is the section that we need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert this to our services. So I'm gonna start off by adding all the content that I need. So I'm gonna click on Enable Visual Builder. And then since I don't need this, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And then I'm just gonna scroll down and find 
the section that I need, which is right here. I'm going to drag this all the way to the top, just below our main header image. Right, so this is where it needs to go. So I'm just going to let go. Right, so now we can go in and customize this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to rename this to our services. And then this is going to be the description text that we're going to have. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. And then over here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and delete the information that I don't need. So I'm just going to click this gear icon. So instead of having the title as uh, best beans, since this is a barbershop website, we are going to add our prices. So let's start off with haircut and add the price. So let's say $35. Now for this, we don't need an image and icon. So I'm just going to come over here and uh, just make sure that use icon is set to no. And then I'm going to go into the content and then just paste my dummy content in here like that. We just need a short description. We don't need a lot uh, to go in there. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, all you have to do now is to delete what we have here like that. And then we're going to clone this and then rename it. Right, so I've cloned it twice. I'm just going to drag this into position like that. Okay, so now we're going to um, just rename this. So this could be haircut plus uh, beard trim like that. And then you can just go ahead and add your price. So this could be say $50. Okay, so now that I have all my services, the next thing we're gonna do is to add our appointment button. So I'm just gonna click this plus button to add a brand new row. It's gonna be a single row like that. So I'm going to add my button. We're going to call this book appointment. Okay, so I've just pasted my style. And then all we have to do now is to make sure that this is centered. So I'm going to go back in here and click on design alignment and center it. Okay, so great. So this services part is looking great. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the next section. So over here, um, what we need is a button. So I'm just going to clone this button here and then just drag it into position just below the description text. So all we have to do now is to go into the button settings and change the title of the button to learn more. Great, so now that we have that in place, I'm just gonna save. And then all we're going to do here is to add some padding just to give this enough breathing space like that. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so let's work on the next section. So what we're gonna do is to just customize this to suit our Shop. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings, click on background, and we need to get rid of this image here. And then we're going to save. So all this information here, I'm just going to move it over here to the right. So I'm just going to drag this over here to the right and the button as well. Great. So over here, I'm just going to add an image. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings click on background. So next to add our image, we need to come over here to this third tab, click the plus button, and we are going to look for our image. So here's the image I'm going to be using. I'm gonna click upload an image. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is just to make sure that this information here is aligned. So I'm gonna come over here to my module settings, click on design, spacing, and we are going to add a custom margin of 100 to the top. So that just brings everything in line and that looks much better. Next, I'm just gonna go and click on the content tab, click on text, and we are going to change this from fresh beans to our shop, like that. And then we're going to save. Next, we're going to come over here to our button. So we're gonna click on our module settings. Instead of saying learn more, we're gonna change this to start shopping. We're going to click on design, spacing, and you can see here on the top we have 60 pixels of margin. Let's get rid of that so the button gets closer to the content. So that's looking much better now. Let's go ahead now and save. Okay, so our section is looking great. Let's go ahead and work on the next one. 
So the next section is we're going to work on, we are going to add a background image. So let's start off by doing that. So I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, click on background, and I'm going to delete this image here and add our own. So I'm gonna click this plus button, select my image, and then click upload an image. Okay, great, so that's the image that we're going to use. But you can see over here that our text is on the right. We need this to be on the left. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna save this for now. And I'm going to drag this over here to the right, to the left. I'm gonna do the same with the button. Just drag it over here. Right, so what we need to do next is to change the color of our text here so that it's easier to read. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click over here on the module settings click on design text and we're just going to change this from dark to light so that's already looking way much better and then I'm just going to go ahead and save and then for the button I'm going to click the button module settings change it from full menu to book appointment great so for the link this needs to link to your appointments page but for now I'm just going to leave this with a blank with a blank link so once you're done with that, just go ahead and save, and that's all you need to do for this. Right, so what we need to do next is to delete all the sections that we don't need. So definitely, we're not going to be using this, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the section, and delete the next one. So the only section we're going to need here is the R team section. Right, so I'm just gonna continue deleting all this. Okay, so now we are here on the R team section, so we are we're going to definitely keep this. And then over here on join our newsletter, we're going to get rid of this as well. And then finally over here, we're going to add an image that works with our barbershop. So right now we have a cake image, that will definitely not work. Okay, so to change the image, I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, click on background, and then I am going to delete this image and add my own. So the image I'm gonna use for this is, is this one right here. I'm gonna select it, click upload an image, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save. So our page is looking nice now. Great. So the next page we're going to be working on is the shop page. So let's go ahead and save this. Now with the shop page, you've gotta make sure that you have WooCommerce installed. And then I'm gonna come over here to WooCommerce and then click on settings. I'm gonna come over here to my products tab. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to make sure that the page, the shop page that I created is assigned right here. So I'm gonna click the drop down and select my shop page. So next I'm just gonna add my products. So to add your products, you've gotta just come over here to products, click on add new. You give your product a name. I'm just gonna call this bag. I'm gonna add the price. And then over here, I'm gonna set my product image. And then I'm gonna upload my image. So I'm gonna click upload files because my file is on my computer. So I'm just gonna to navigate to my downloads folder, select my bag, and then I'm gonna click on set product image. So what you could also do is to go ahead and add your description over here. And also the short product description. So I'm gonna paste my description like that. And then I'm gonna also paste my product short description. Then once that's all done, I'm gonna click on publish. I can view the product like that. Okay, so there, there's our product. And if I come over here to my shop page, you can see here that my product has been added. So what you need to do is to go ahead and add two more products. So in my case, I'm gonna add the razor and also the sewing machine. Okay, so all I did on this page after adding my products is to change this background image. And then over here on the bottom, we need to get rid of all these sections and then just leave out this bottom one. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you delete all those sections, all your page should look pretty much like this. Now let's move on to the contact page. So I'm just gonna come over here, click on contact. Okay, so to change my background image, I'm gonna come over here to my module settings, 
click on background. I'm going to delete this image and then click this plus button to add my image. So the image I'm going to add here is this one right here. Click upload an image. Great. And then we need to make sure that we disable parallax so we get, get to see more of that image. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save. And then over here, we need to do the same thing. We need to uh, add our image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings, click on background, and then we're going to change this image. Click the plus button to add our own image. And then I'm going to choose this image right here. Click upload an image. Okay, so now our image is added in the background, which is great. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to add our opt-in here on its own section. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to click this plus button here, click on regular, and we are going to need a single row. And then I'm just going to close this, drag it into position like that. And then we are going to come over here and give this section a background color. So I'm going to click on background and then I'm going to add my solid color. I'm going to add a bit of padding to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to click on design, spacing. Okay, so let's start off by um, adding a 100 pixels to the top and 100 to the bottom. So the reason why we're doing this is just to add some breathing space for this opt-in section. So let's go ahead and save now that we have all that we need. Next, I'm going to come over here and add our text module, which will have our description text. So I'm going to select my text module. And then over here, I am going to paste my text like that. So this is just dummy text. And then I need to add a title. So the title is going to be uh, schedule your appointment. And then we're going to make this heading a header by clicking this drop down and selecting header one. Next, I'm going to come over here to design and then just make sure that everything is all centered. So I'm going to click on my text and then on my text orientation, I'm going to set this to centered. So now you can see everything is all centered. And then finally, we just need to change this text from dark to light so we can read it on this dark background. Great. So let's go ahead now and save. And then if we scroll all the way down here to the bottom, we can see that we still have this image here, which does not fit our website. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background, delete the image, click this plus button, and I am going to add my own image. Click upload an image. So that's looking great. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So this is how your page should look. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, so finally, let's go ahead and work on our appointments page. So I'm just going to save this page for now and exit the Visual Builder. Right, so on our appointment page, I'm just going to select it first. So what I need to do here is to change my background image. Okay, so to change our background image, I need to come over here to my module settings. Click on background. I'm going to delete this image first and then add my own image. So the image I'm going to use for this is this one right here. I'll click on upload the image. And then I'm going to come over here to my text. So my title here needs to change to come and have a seat, book an appointment. Next, we're going to come over here and change this image on our contact information. Click my section settings, background, delete the image. And then I'm going to add my own image like that. I'm going to save and then over here, I'm going to delete this whole section because we don't need that. OK, so now that we have all this information here, the last thing, the last and final thing we need to do here is to add your appointment uh, information. So we have suggested some appointment uh, plugins that you can use to add on to uh, this section. So all you need to do is to add the short code. So what you need to do is to take a look at all the suggestions that we have in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. And then you can go ahead and set, set your appointments.
So this is our final design. So this is our home page. Let's go to our book appointment. The shop page. Contact page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.